and he's here. And he's driven that, and he's caught at extra cover. Full-length ball, and he just drove it straight to extra cover. It's most straightforward of catches for Ollie Carter. And Sander just stands up and thumps that away. He's a dangerous customer, you know, Ben Sanders. I mean, he's a tall man, and when he when the ball gets hit, it stays hit. And these, you know, Sussex have already put him down. So we've got five men saving one. Coles in bowls. Oh, Manners belts that down the ground. That could well have all gone all the way for six. Uh, in comes Robinson. Over the wicket bowls. And Sullen short pulls it away four <laughs> runs. Well, he just stood up and delivered there, Ben Sanderson, and it, it, it was short. Robinson in bowls. Short pulled away by Sanderson. He's going to get more runs. In fact, he's going to get four more. It was too short for Molly Robinson. Here's Seals. Bowls to him, and he drives through extra cover. Nice shot. More runs for him here. Going out towards the boundary, is it going to reach? Yes, it is. Good effort, good effort at a sliding stop, but can't quite get there. It's another boundary. Northamptonshire uh, batsman. In fact, we're just going to get a wicket because uh, Ben Sanderson has just been caught live on air. There we go, by the Sussex wicketkeeper, uh, John Simpson. Ends in innings of 27 for Ben Sanderson. 354, here's Robinson in bowls to McManus, wide outside the off stump, and... McManus just leans into that and creams it through extra cover for four. McManus into the 40s, 40 to him. Here's Robinson in, bowls to him, and he's cut that away. It was a short ball, and he's cut it away over, well, over where point would have been. So it's definitely paying off. So Seals into bowl here, four length delivery, and that has driven very nicely over through the offside, going through. It's floated up there, and it's going to be a big swipe of the bat, and that is absolutely massive over the pavilion uh, sorry over the site screen and that is going to be six runs and back in the runs is Coles bowling to him there is his 50 well played Lewis McManus and all the players out on the balcony applauding they understand the significance of that Tremaine who flushed with success in the previous over has smashed that back over the bowler's head for four as Coles is in bowls to McManus, who's gone for the hit. It's skewed up in the air. He's going to be caught. He is caught. Coming in at backward point. Good catch there by Tom Allsop. To Haynes, short, pulled away by Tom Haynes. His first boundary of the season. In fact, has that gone all the way for six? No, he's gone for four. I didn't see it. In comes Phil and Bowles. Haynes smashes that one over. That's going to be a second boundary of the over. One of Tom Haynes' favourite shot, backward of square. Haynes and Haynes is going to pick up his third boundary of the over. That's a lovely shot. He's been waiting all winter to play a shot like that, Tom Haynes. Overpitched, he drills the ball through the covers. Yes, indeed they are. It's the most glorious day. There's not a cloud in the sky here at Hove, or very few, uh, that is. Um, it is a bit blowy here, but Sussex have made a good start in response to the Northamptonshire total of 371. Group. In comes Finn and Bowl, wide, clubbed away, having said he bowled a better over, that's clubbed away by Tom Haynes through cover for four runs. He's looking a little expensive here, Tom Clark, I'm sorry. Haynes drives, oh, that's a glorious Beautiful. shot, Beautiful shot, overpitched. Haynes drills that away through extra cover for four runs. He goes to 25, running away from us, bowls to uh, Tom Haynes, who is going to get runs, not quite where he intended. The ball's running down towards the third band boundary. Running around the wicket, he's in and bowls, and Haynes drives. That's a lovely looking shot by Tom Haynes, and it's going to go away for four runs. Through extra cover, avoids the dive of the fielder, and Haynes picks up another boundary. He's going along very nicely, Tom Haynes. He goes to 34. And here's Keogh. In again, and he's turned. There's an appeal for a catch behind, and he's given him out. It turned. Whether there was a nick on it, we couldn't see from here. They went up straight away. So Tremaine down the hill now into bowl, and that is punched away. Lovely shot by Tom Haynes, who doesn't even bother to run. Back foot punch, straight past backward point, and that's going to be four runs. So Tremaine to continue round the wicket into bowl, and that's driven by Haynes through backward point. Keo in again, flighted down the leg side, and he's, he's stumped. He is stumped. That's a clever bit of bowling. It's a super bit of keeping as well from Lewis McManus. Got to be a bit patient here, Sussex, as Tremaine is into bowl around the wicket. Haynes takes on the short ball, and that is pulled beautifully through mid wicket for a very, very well deserved 50. Runs in again. Bold. Oh, he knocks it out of the off stump <laughs> this time. Well, the reprieve only lasted a ball and an exact mirror image. Regular opponents of my birthplace club, Crawley Town, in the distant past. Sanderson in bowls to Coles, who flicks this nice... If you wanted to go and win that. So, second ball of the over, round the wicket, and there's a Ooh. big... Beautiful ground. So, last ball of the over, and there's a big... 
as Rob Kerr is in. Bowls swept by James Coles. That's going to be four runs. In fact, it was more pulled in front of Square. It means I can get to all the training nights, play a lot more regularly, and it fits in nicely with playing England games on a Sunday. In comes Kerr Bowles, and Coles is at it again. A repeat performance as he pulls the ball in front of Square and picks up another boundary. Northamptonshire skipper is on his way over the wicket. Bowles to Haynes, who drives handsomely through the wicket, through uh, the covers. That brings up a fresh over around the wicket to Coles, who's gone aerial. Is that gone all the way for six? It is. It's well very held. well caught. Very well caught. By Greg Smith, Northamptonshire's batting coach. Just trots in three or four steps and forced away beautifully through the covers for four by Tom Haynes. A little bit short. In bowls and Coles flicks this beautifully through mid wicket four runs. That was a class shot. In comes Proctor. Bowles and Coles is going to get four runs here, but not really where he intended. Keo in. Bowles gives that plenty of air, and that's going to be 50 for James Coles as he sweeps the ball away down to deep mid wicket. And a very fine half century by a very fine young cricketer. He's in and bowls to uh, Haynes, who drives beautifully Shots. down the ground. That's four runs. That's a beautiful shot by Tom Haynes. Overpitched. So Tremaine into bowl again, and that's wide outside off stump. And like I said earlier, if it has any bad balls, Coles slip in a gully as Sanderson is in. Bowls to Tom Haynes, and Haynes thrashes that one away. And there we are as a single down to widest third man. And Tom Haynes goes through to his hundred. No lap of honour this time, though, is a bit disappointing. <laughs> so Coles facing up here and Sanderson bowls out short and wide and that has absolutely crunched through the offside for four runs nothing you can do so he's into the right-handed batter Coles Ooh. short length delivery and that's pulled into the mid on uh, sorry into the mid wicket region for four runs um yeah in comes a bowls and Coles having a thrash now he's going to be caught and that is a dreadful shot dreadful way to get out Zave cannot believe he's got a wicket <laughs> with a ball like that and James Coles cannot believe well, they've had a little wobble, and he's ch chopped it on. Bowles done some prejudice, who clubs that down the ground, and it's gone for four. 240 for five. Tom Haynes is 116 not out. Zabe is in. Bowles, Tom Haynes with a switch hit. Do you call it a switch hit? I do know. In comes a Bowles, and Tom Haynes is down the wicket, and he clubs that away, and that has gone all the way for... So we're only in the 69th over, so they've got, they've got plenty of time available if they want it. Zabin again, here goes Haynes again. Four. Oh, crumbs right. hit that hard. And that's gone for four runs. I think that hit Zabin's side. He got a hand to it, and it hit him, obviously not in front, but not far off. So they've got a full toss, and Haynes is caught this time at mid-off. And that's a very, very soft way to get out, and it's the second time. So just changing it up and Zabe's in here and that's a big sweep from Danny Lamb and that's absolutely massive into the members pavilion and give North Hans half a dozen awkward overs tonight Zabe into bowl again that's a full toss and absolutely smoked up the hill from Hudson Prentice who comes down the pitch and absolutely smashes it for a one bounce four that's it doesn't seem to carry as much we feel like we had a couple of wickets like that today but it's gone straight into the hands of the fielders as Hudson Protis comes down the track and absolutely smashes out for four runs over the bowler's head. That wasn't, be, you know, he's, he's in at number 10. So Zabin again. That's a big shot from Hudson Prentice through mid wicket. Mid on is chasing after it, but you can hear the applause already. That's gone ground. It often does. Keogh in bowls and drilled down the ground by Hudson Prentice. And that's gone for four runs. He's to gather, but he's running down the hill. Comes in and bowls to Danny Lamb, who's keen to practice that reverse sweep, and he does it to good effect. But he's going to get four runs. Is in over the wicket bowls. Hudson Prentice smashes this down the ground for four runs. Lovely shot. It's, it's a strange part of the every side you can make a case up for getting promoted. Keo in bowls pulled away by uh, Hudson Prentice. That's going to go for four runs, literally down below us by six two fielders hammered away down towards wide the wickets of a spin. Keo in bowls and that's a beautiful shot hammered that's away. Shot by Finn Hudson Prentice over extra cover for six. That's a super shot. He goes to four. Over the wicket into Hudson Prentice, who drives it beautifully over extra cover for four runs. He's looked in really, really good form here. And uh, you can hear the opposition when you're the bowling team and he suddenly starts getting hit. And you go, oh, wow, it's a bit dark. I didn't see that one. <laughs> so Sun's an in interbowl. Danny Lamb tracks it. Um, sorry, comes down the track. That was me using a little bit of slang there. And, and they're going to have a word. Here we go. And I don't think the square leg umpire saw a thing of that, so they no. might be a little bit worried about light. But I Danny Lamb came down the pitch, went to pull it, and it went through to the keeper for a dot ball. Well, I've learnt in the last three days 